If you want a quick way to organize and format a select range of data like you see here in my database, you can use what are called tables. By definition, a table is just that. It's a quick way to organize and format a select range of data, making it stand out or pop out on the page here. So to convert this to a table, all I have to do is click and drag and select the range that I would like to be converted. Come up here and click on the Insert tab. Come down to the Tables group and click on Table. It gives you a little pop-up that says, well, is this the range that you want to include in your table? And does your table have headers? If it has headers, as you can see it does up here, the column header for name, vendor, unit price, and so on, then go ahead and check it. By default it's checked, so I'll leave it alone. If this isn't the range that you selected, you can click on the Collapse dialog box button and then click and drag a different range. So I'm going to start up here and click and drag and select the original range. Then hit the Enter key on the keyboard to pop that back open. And then because this button's already highlighted, I can hit Enter again and it converts it to a table. Let me click off in a blank area here. How do I know it's a table? Because you can actually customize a database to, to look this way manually without converting it to a table. But when you convert it to a table, it adds the filter fields, the drop down arrows. And we already had a training video covering our auto filters. Let me click off in a blank area gives us our banded rows so there's the same color on every other row. It makes it easier on the eyes. But again, how do I know this is a table? Well, if you look in the lower right hand corner, there's a little tiny tick mark. It's a little angle, blue angle mark. And what it's saying is everything above that and to the left of it is included in the table. So that's basically the easiest way to find out if it is a table, a database that's been converted to a table. And again, you don't need to be able to convert any database into a table to be able to create the auto filter handles and to do banded columns and so forth. You can actually do that manually, but tables are much easier and a quicker way to format your database here. Now that's not the only way. There's another way that you can convert this into a table. Let me go ahead and click on the undo button, bring it back to my original here. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and select the range that I'd like to convert to a table come up here on the home tab go to the styles group and then click on the format as table button quite a few to choose from here so it's going to do two things first of all it's going to convert it into a table and then it's going to convert depending on what I select here to the formatting that I choose how about something a little bit not as light but something in the medium and certainly not dark medium style 2 here click on that and then it says remember this little pop-up guy says is this the data you want to include in your table yes click OK there it is now you notice when I created the table, when I click off, a tab or contextual tab that relates to what I have down here disappears. When I click on it again, it brings it up. So these are the table tools. And this is the design tab where I can go ahead and make additional changes, including changing the table style from maybe a medium blue to a black, which doesn't look all that great. The next training video will cover on how to modify your tables, including deleting and inserting records, changing your column widths, re removing duplicates, and performing calculations. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.